Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to study how to draw total energy line and hydraulic gradient line with this tank pipe system. Now let us first understand what is this total energy line. So it is the sum of pressure head, kinetic head and datum head with respect to reference line. And what is the hydraulic gradient line? So it is the sum of pressure head and datum head with respect to some reference line. Now if we observe this diagram here length of the pipe is 50 meter. Then the diameter is 0.2 meter and the level of water surface in the tank from the center of pipe it is given 4 meter. Now the velocity V in the pipe is also given that is V is equal to 2.734 meter per second and the coefficient of friction F is equal to 0 0.009 that is given. Now if we observe this diagram the water from the tank is entering into the pipe and at that time there is the losses that is the head loss at the entrance of the pipe. And if we observe when water is flowing through this pipe, now the length is considerable more that is L is equal to 50 meter. Then water is in contact with pipe surface and that's why there are friction losses that are also taking place. So we can say that head loss due to friction. So we will first calculate what is the head loss at the entrance of the pipe that is HI that is 0 0.5 V square by 2G. So when we put here value we will get 0 0.19 meter and what is the head loss due to friction that is 4 F L V square by 2 G D. So when we put the values we will get 3.428 meter. So this is about the calculation. Now if we observe we have to draw the total energy line which is the sum of pressure head, kinetic head and datum head. Now how to calculate the total energy at point A. So we will consider here the point A at the surface of this water level in the tank. Then the next point B we will consider at the entrance of the pipe. And the third point C we will consider at the outlet of the pipe. So we will first calculate what is the total energy at A. So we will apply the formula P by rho g plus V square by 2g plus z. Now at this point A, this water surface is open to atmosphere. So pressure head we have to take 0. Then the velocity of water in the tank. So if we observe this velocity of water is negligible. So we can also say that it is 0. And what is the datum head? So here the center of pipe we will consider as a reference line. So what is the datum head? That is z is equal to 4. So if we add this, we will get here what is the total energy at A that is 4 meter. So here is the point where from the reference line the distance is 4 meter. So we can say that we have to select this point as a total energy at point A. So I will say this point will be D. Now we have to plot the point where the head lost at the entrance of the pipe. So we have calculated HI is equal to 0 0.19 meter. So this is the point D where total energy at this water surface A. So below that what is the head loss that we have to plot here. HI is equal to 0 0.19 meter that is below this point D and we have to select here the point E and in this way we have to show this HI is equal to 0 0.19 meter. So with this point B if we observe with this level there is the head lost. Now we will move for the next how to calculate the total energy at B. So total energy at B is equal to total energy at A minus head lost at the entrance of the pipe that is minus HI. So 4 minus 0 0.19 meter. So which is equal to 3.81 meter. Now if we observe from this point B to point E this distance is 3.81 meter. So here is the total energy at point B that is at this point E. Now again we have to plot 
then what what is happening of when this water is entering at this point b it is flowing through this pipe with velocity v then what is happening there is again head loss due to friction so head loss due to friction again we have to plot so how to plot so for that i will draw here from this point a i will draw one horizontal line so here is the horizontal line and we have to take its a length is equal to this length is equal to 50 meter that means we have to select the point of intersection so here is the length is equal to 50 meter so if i take this so this is the construction line and then again we have to take head loss due to friction so at point c what is the head loss due to friction that is hf is equal to 3.428 so from this point so i will say f this is the point f so from this f point to below we have to go 3.428 meter so i will again take here one vertical line for for a distance of 3.428 meter so here will be the point so we have to show the dimensions also so i will write here this vertical line hf is equal to 3.428 meter and this horizontal line if i show here the dimensions that is equal to 50 meter now here I will say this point will be point G. Now how to show the total energy at point C. So this is the point G here we can also say up to point G there is the total energy at point C. And again there is we can apply the formula for the total energy that is pressure head plus kinetic head plus datum head. Now if we observe here this is the reference line so datum head will become 0 then pressure head so pressure head at point C point C is open to atmosphere so pressure head will also become 0 then V square by 2G so if I put here V value 2.734 then the value of V square by 2G is 0 0.38 meter so this is the height from the reference line so if I observe this from this point C to point G the distance is same that is 0 0.38 meter. So again we have to show that. So I will show here. So this distance is 0 0.38 meter. So in this way we will get these points that is here. The total energy at point C, we can say this is the point G, total energy at point B, this is the point E and total energy at point A, this is the point D. Now, the main important point is that we have to join this because we have to create the total energy line. So, for total energy line, I will make here, um, with the help of red marker, I will make these lines. So, this D to E, we have to make then e to g so here that we have to make so we can say that d e g is the total energy line so we can mention here t e l now again the next line is the hydraulic gradient line so hydraulic gradient line is what that is it is the sum of pressure head plus datum head that means from this total energy line we have to just subtract this kinetic head that is v square by 2g now suppose i will take this point g so at this point g this is the v square by 2g this is the value of v square by 2g so if i subtract this v square by 2g from this point g where will be the point for the hydraulic gradient line that will lie on this point C. So now from this point C we have to take the parallel line. So if I take here the parallel line 
here will be now I will make this line in the form of dash this is the hydraulic gradient line that is HGL so in this way total energy line and hydraulic gradient line are getting created 